Following some breaking news, as you saw there off the top, there's been a Dallas police officer who was shot and killed late last night. Two others injured. The DPD originally, we're told, got a call for an officer in distress. This was in the 900 block of Ledbetter in the Oak Cliff area. When other officers got there, they found that officer shot in an unmarked car. The suspect and the officers who arrived, police said that they both exchanged gunfire there at the scene. And two more officers then were shot. All right, so look, man. Now, on my YouTube recommended this morning, I just came across a video telling me that three police officers, Dallas police officers, out in the Oak Cliff area of Dallas, were shot last night. They got into a shootout. Now I want to speak about this because it don't make no sense. What y'all got going on in Dallas, folks? Now me, myself, I'm from the hood like a lot of y'all, right? Born and raised. Well, not in Dallas, of course. I'm from North Carolina, buddy. I'm just saying I'm from the hood of North Carolina, folks. But that doesn't make me a gang gang and evil twin. I'm just a kid who grew up in the hood. That's it. And most people in the area where I grew up, boy, they can't stand the police, folks. Elf the police, elf the police. But the crazy thing is, and it's the part I never understand, right? Every time a crime happens, they call the police. Like when they don't need the police. Elf the police, elf the police. Yeah, man, put on that boost. And when they need the police, ring, ring. Hello? Yeah, police, it's me again. I never understood that. Now I do agree. It's a lot of bad cops out there, right? But there's a lot of good cops out there as well. That's the part people always seem to forget. It's no different than any other job field. Man, you go to Walmart, you're gonna have some good workers and some bad workers. Some people stealing out the cash register. Y'all know how it is, folks. Been working there so long, now they done found out ways to self-check out, ring up stuff without paying for it. Damn bad people, folks. Just like the police, it's bad cops, it's bad everything. So I'm just realistic. I already know it's gonna be some bad cop. Just like it's some bad people in the military. Some bad people working at McDonald's. There's just life. Now the difference is the police is here to protect and serve. So technically, I suppose there shouldn't be any quote unquote bad cop. But again, this real life, man. You can't even play GTA without running into no bad cop. They just start shooting people for no reason. So yeah, man, that's how I look at it. Letting y'all know right now, come this way, you going to jail, buddy. I'm going to tell everything on you. Shout out to the police. What's that police name I always see uh, on Instagram? The, uh, like, playing with the little kids and stuff. Pause, that sounded crazy. I mean, like, throwing footballs and stuff for little kids, you know? He be doing a lot of stuff for his community. I think he's from Arkansas. He be hanging out with those people, what are them people, in the, the all-star crew. He help a lot of special needs people out there. That's a good dude, that's a good police officer, man. But this jive turkey that just killed this lady. What's that lady name? Sonya Massey, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Rest in peace to her. But that police officer, horrible. You jive turkey, gonna kill that lady. She called you to come help her, fool. Not kill her. But yeah, with all that being said, let's go back out to Dallas, Texas. This story is still developing, but long story short, an officer got called out to a crime scene. When he stepped onto the scene, he got shot by the suspect. He make the dispatch call, call for backup. Two other officers come out there. They get in a shootout with the suspect. They get shot. Hold on, my bad for pausing the story, y'all, but I don't know who this dude is, bro. This dude out here, John Wick. What's going on, man? This dude and got in the solo shootout with three officers and got away. Shot all of them and was still able to get out of there. So now more officers arrived. They're chasing him from Oak Cliff all the way to Louisville, Texas. I don't know how far that is, but he left them on the chase from Ledbetter and Oak Cliff all the way to Louisville, Texas. They get on the highway, get into another shootout with him. And this time, they was able to get him. That dude gone, fool. As you can see right here where they put the mark at. That's his gun. 
That's what he was shooting the cops with. As you can see, that drum on it. But yeah, they shot him there, killed him there. Uh, unfortunately, one of the officers from the original scene, the first officer who was called, he was murdered. He didn't uh, survive that shooting. He uh, was pronounced dead later at the hospital, if I'm not mistaken. The other two officers who came to provide backup for him, who was also shot, one of them is in critical condition as I'm speaking right now. And the third one, he's good to go. They said he's going to make it. And they haven't given out too much information about this call. From the news articles I've seen and heard, it's been leaning towards uh, he was he was called there for a robbery. And once he got there, he got in the shootout with the suspect. And everything transpired from there. But for sure, rest in peace to this police officer. I don't know his name. They didn't give names out. And speedy recovery to the other two. And you want to know what's crazy? The only time... I've actually seen a cop get shot, like actually seen it, being there to witness it, was when I was living in Dallas, Texas. Uh, I think it's 2016. I was going to that school uh, downtown called El Centro. That school right across the street from that, uh, that McDonald's and that train station. I think it's called Ackert Station. Boy, I used to be at that train station all the time, folks. At the class, I go right over there and get that uh, Williams chicken. My bad, y'all. I'm getting sidetracked. But the point of me bringing this up was uh, I was going to El Centro, and it was like a Black Lives Matter protest or something going on. Next thing you know, a shooter come out there, start shooting up the place, shooting up cops. I think one of the, uh, what's it called? The, the dark. The dark officers, they got shot. Like, dang, I'm just trying to go to school, man. You over here shooting up the place. But anywho, this situation just reminded me of that because ironically, this this police shooting as well was in Dallas, Texas. So yeah, I guess that just brought up an old memory. But y'all crazy as hell out there in Dallas, man. Relax, folks. Ain't the state fair about to come up or something? Calm down, man. Go get you a funnel cake. Them little big turkey legs y'all be having. Enjoy yourself, man. Out here killing police officers. Y'all got a new rapper dying every other month. Like, fam, go get some girls or something. Like, all y'all do is kill each other out there now. But yeah, I just want to share this story with y'all. I thought it was a little crazy. I know a lot of my audience, y'all are from Dallas, Texas. Because of my Mo3 content. So maybe this is something more of y'all to be familiar with. But as of now, that's all I know. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram, TZF, baby. 252. I'm gone. 10 10 last night here on East Ledbetter near the Four Oak Cliff Community Center and nonprofit. That's where they found one of their own officers had been shot inside of his marked patrol car. Then responding officers began to have a shootout with the suspect responsible, which led to two more officers being shot here before they were taken on a car chase all the way up to Louisville, where eventually the suspect was shot and killed. Fuck this industry, bitch I'm in